Okay, welcome to the uh, Hajetepe pathology case of the month. So today's case is uh, from, like, a, this is a core biopsy from the retroperitoneal mass. This is actually, it was near to the iliopsoas muscle. And this is a core biopsy from a 50 year old male. Uh, and at low power, we have three core biopsies and at the low power, it has a hypocellular kind of look and this is somewhat has a mixocollagenous background with uh, and anyone can notice these funny looking cells at even at this power and they look pleomorphic and when we come to the higher power we appreciate uh, the inflammatory background and uh, these cells are uh, mostly neutrophils and of course we have these uh, pleomorphic cells with eosinophilic granular cytoplasm and some of them show this is the, 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 the best one here and periopolysis and you may look other cells some of that some of them look like rich tempered like or virocyte like cells and some of them have nucleoli prominent nucleoli here again and this is this is a one of one of the with, with the macronucleoli and we don't have any mitosis and the diagnosis is mixoinflammatory fibroblastic sarcoma of course in this uh, location it's somewhat rare I mean, mixoinflammatory fibro fibrosarcoma is rare, but in this location, it's more, it's much rarer. So, previously, it has been referred to as mixoinflammatory fibroblastic sarcoma of acral, acral mixoinflammatory fibroblastic sarcoma of distal extremities or with rich timber uh, rich timber like cells or virocyte like cells so in this uh, location of course we have to exclu exclude some other possibilities such as ganglioneuro uh, ganglioneuroma and s100 was negative and of course within retroperitoneal region and in uh, intra-abdominal region. Of course, in this age population, sarcomatoid carcinoma uh, should be excluded, so cytokeratin. But th this is, this is an, again, an important uh, issue that cytokeratin may also uh, be focally positive in mixoinflammatory fib fibroblastic sarcoma. So this is a cell with positivity. And of course, you one should exclude hematopoietic malignancies such as uh, anaplastic large cell and Hodgkin's lymphoma. Uh, of course, Hodgkin's lymphoma is rare in intra-abdominal or retroperitoneal region, but uh, this is CD30 is negative, and uh, both excluding excluding both uh, anaplastic large cell lymphoma and Hodgkin's lymphoma. Interestingly, some of the cases staying with Desmin, and in this particular case, the cells were uh, also positive for Desmin. I mean, not every cell, but scattered cells showed Desmin positivity, as you see here. And I mean, none of the immunostochemical uh, stains is useful for the diagnosis, and. This mixoinflammatory fibroblastic sarcoma is characterized by a molecular 
rearrangement with uh, MGA uh, 5 and TGF RB3 uh, in those cases. And of course, these cases has also some relation with uh, pleomorphic hyalinizing angiogenetic tumors and hemostatic fibrolymph movementous tumors. So the diagnosis was mixoinflammatory fibroblastic sarcoma. Uh, thank you for watching and see you next month.